Greeting everyone. Welcome back to Miss Recaps. Today I will be talking about a science fiction film called Snake Girl released in the year 2021. Spoilers ahead. Stay safe and enjoy. Somewhere inside an isolated forest that's untouched by human society, an army of soldier is heading inside the area for the first time. They are obviously looking for something very dangerous as they appear to be heavily armed. The people venture across the lands that are surrounded by numerous serpents, and very soon, a soldier begins to see what appears to be a woman in the far distance. The man is quickly distracted by the girl's beauty and accidentally startles her, which immediately causes a giant creature to rush their way. The soldiers tread carefully to anticipate the incoming enemy, but they are quickly attacked by a monster that appears to have bulletproof skin. This renders the human weapons useless as the people are tossed away by the giant creature and smashed into pieces. The soldiers try to escape immediately from the massive serpent, but the creature launches towards the humans and sends them flying into the air. The monster charges at the remaining survivors and devours the people into its giant mouth, while the others are accidentally shot by their own weapons. A single soldier is somehow able to survive alongside his captain who has been blinded on the ground, and upon hearing the monster's roar, the man begins running desperately for his life. The survivor eventually falls into an underground cave, which brings him towards an area that's filled by purple lights. He continues venturing forwards and is able to make it towards the center, and the man realizes that the entire area is covered by the ultraviolet grass it turns out that finding this plant was actually their main objective, but the soldier fails to realize that the chemical is already beginning to affect his mind. Suddenly, the man notices that something is moving from afar, and eventually realizes that it's the girl they saw in the forest. This quickly gives him dirty thoughts about the woman, but his fantasies are distracted by a massive shadow that begins covering over the entire cave. It's quickly revealed that the giant serpent is already here, who eventually turns the man into its victim. When the monster has killed all the invaders, it goes back towards the girl who appears to be the serpent's friend, and the only human that's capable of bonding with the massive creature. Sometimes later, a scientist called Lin is having a meeting with the sponsors who are funding his project, and they are not happy that their investments have not seen any returns. The project manager Dr. Zhang explains that they already located the ultraviolet grass which possesses extraordinary healing abilities. The only thing they need to do now is to retrieve the plants, and they plan to hire Captain Young who survived the previous battle against the giant monster. The investors decide to give the people a final chance, as they are pulling the funding if the operation fails once again. Very soon, the team begins heading off towards the forest, as the captain has brought in a bunch of soldiers with the intention of killing the massive serpent. What they don't realize is that they are seen by the snake woman already, who's carefully monitoring the people's every action. The soldiers continue heading downstream towards the objective as they eventually arrive in front of a large cave that's covered by fog. They carefully approach the entrance and slowly enters into the structure, but Lin quickly realizes that something is wrong, as he sees gigantic wings inside the tunnel. The captain orders all his men to get ready for battle, as he takes off his sunglasses and sees the giant creatures on the ceiling. Yang tells the people to attack immediately, which causes the animals to fly towards them and throwing the humans into the water. The soldiers launch out the flames to repel the creatures, while shooting all their guns at the same time, but the captain realizes that they are being overwhelmed. He orders the soldiers to get out immediately, as they quickly start the engine and begins rushing away from the giant bats. However, the flying monsters continue chasing the humans and trying to tear the people into pieces. Luckily, a mercenary fires a rocket launcher that causes a huge explosion on the mountain, which is able to scare all the flying creatures away. The people celebrate in victory thinking that they won the battle, not realizing that the giant snake is approaching them quickly from inside the water. The massive creature goes beneath the boat and flips all the humans into the air by using its enormous jaws, while slamming the vessels into pieces. 
This causes all the people to drop into the water, as they try desperately to swim to shore and leaving the scientist to drown by himself. Luckily, the snake woman is able to get to the main character just in time and prevent the man from dying, while the giant serpent goes after the soldiers. The mercenaries run desperately into the forest, while the captain tells the men to put explosives around the area. The people quickly begin climbing the trees and hiding behind the covers, so they can use the element of surprise to ambush the monster. The captain arrives into the area as well, and the man sees the remains of the soldiers who were killed by the previous battle, making him even more determined to destroy the creature. The people wait patiently for the animal to arrive, and very soon, the monster begins entering the forest and causing all the soldiers to ready their weapons. The snake eventually passes by the bombs and gets hit by the explosion that causes the monster to scream in pain. This gives the captain a chance to shoot his arrow towards the animal that shocks the creature's body in the process. The other soldiers begin firing their weapons at the monster as well and managing to trap the creature in place as they bombard the animal by using the grenades. The captain runs towards one of his men and jumps onto the soldier's back, while shooting his arrow directly at the creature's face. This causes the serpent to shake violently and smashing the big soldier into a human pancake. The other people retaliate immediately to avenge their friend, but their attacks do not seem to be effective at taking the monster down. On the other side, the snake woman is able to bring the scientist on shore, and the girl seems to be very curious about the man, as she begins sniffing him everywhere. Their mating ritual is quickly interrupted when Lin finally wakes up, and the girl realizes that her monster friend is in serious trouble. The humans continue bombarding the creature with everything that they have, but the snake's ability to heal makes it almost impossible to kill. While the people are pondering about what to do next, the snake woman has arrived into the battlefield and sees that her friend is suffering in pain. Before the captain can attack the serpent once again, the woman charges forwards and blocks the arrow by using her body, which ends up knocking her out in the process. This infuriates the massive animal as it throws the wire at one of the soldiers and killing the man right in front of everyone. The giant serpent launches in furiously as it devours the soldiers and knocking the people backwards using tremendous force. This causes the mercenary to explode inside the creature's mouth and throwing the captain away by the shockwave, as it renders the soldier unconscious. The monster screams in pain while its mouth continues burning in flames, and Lin realizes that this is the only chance for him to escape. The man runs towards the woman and begins taking her away from the giant creature, while thinking that all the soldiers are dead. The two are eventually able to make it onto the boat, while the girl remains unconscious, and Lin is able to take the bracelet from the woman at the same time. Very soon, the girl begins to dream and the giant serpent tries to talk to her through her mind, as the monster tries desperately to find her location. However, before the process is over, the woman wakes up in the bed of the scientist, and is obviously very confused about the strange objects around her. The girl looks out the window in amazement as she slowly begins to feel hunger in her stomach, which makes her notice the cat in the room that she plans to turn into her dinner very soon. At the same time, Lin is analyzing the woman's flower bracelet, and quickly finds out that it's made from the ultraviolet grass that they were looking for. He notifies Dr. Zhang immediately about the new findings, and suggests that they should return to get more samples in the future. Lin also speculates that the girl has a telepathic connection with the snake, and he wants to teach her how to speak, so they can learn more about the giant serpent. However, Dr. Zhang's daughter Jia turns off the conversation immediately, as she thinks that Lin is only interested in the girl. The next morning, Lin begins the process of teaching the snake woman how to live like a human. He starts giving her proper clothing and telling her that the pets are not food, but the woman still looks at the cat like it's a walking drumstick, and eating the fishes like a buffet. The scientist eventually gives the woman a name and begins calling her Vivi, while training the girl like a little puppy that constantly misbehaves. During their process of interaction, 
the man quickly learns that the girl's mental ability is the same like a normal person, but what's different is her attachment towards the giant snake. Lin also thinks that Vivi is able to feel all the pain that the monster endures, likely because they were both exposed to the ultraviolet grass for such a long time. What the man doesn't realize is that the giant creature has already made into the city, and is looking everywhere for the woman. Later that night, a young girl is playing inside the park, and she notices that something strange is inside the trees, which causes her to go towards the plants in curiosity. The girl looks up into the leaves, and sees the giant serpent approaching her from above, but she's quickly taken away by two strangers from behind. It turns out that the girl was kidnapped by two criminals who are planning to blackmail her parents for money, but what they don't realize is that the snake has followed them as well. The creature knocks on the car doors and stares at the people in anger, causing the men to push out the young girl like a bunch of cowards to save their own lives. However, they quickly realize that this only angered the serpent, and causing it to surround the vehicle in the process. The creature grabs onto the car and throws it into the air, before devouring the people in a single bite. The animal looks down towards the girl and shows her the arrow that's stuck in its tail. Surprisingly, the child begins pulling out the object as she tries to help the giant monster, eventually freeing the creature's suffering and finally allowing it to heal. Vivi begins feeling the pain of the animal which forces her to wake up and causing her to tell Lin that they need to find the serpent right away. The man brings the woman onto his motorcycle, and they begin heading across the city while looking for the giant snake. The two eventually arrive into the park, where Vivi is able to find the blood stain that is left behind by the serpent, but the creature has already left the area. The next morning, the appearance of the monster has reached the news, and Lin is called in to have a meeting with the company directors. Chia tells the scientist that they should capture the serpent immediately, as the creature must contain high doses of the ultraviolet grass after consuming it for so long. Lin thinks that this is a terrible idea, as the giant monster has already destroyed two of their teams, but Chia only thinks that the scientist is protecting the snake woman. Dr. Zhang stops their arguments immediately and tells Lin to meet him outside. The old man shows the scientist the entire forest that he recently purchased, as he plans to offer the area for the giant snake to live in while they study the creature. However, Lin begins having second thought about capturing the animal, after seeing how Vivi is connected to the creature, and suggest that they should allow the woman to go home. Zhang is obviously disappointed by the man's answer but is able to hold back his anger and tells the main character to find the snake immediately. Later that night, Lin goes home while being very conflicted about to do next, as he knows that nothing good will happen to Vivi if she stayed here. The man eventually decides to bring the woman to a place that she's never before, and tries to allow her to have fun while enjoying the good thing that humanity has to offer. Lin takes Vivi into his favorite location since he was a child which turns out to be a circus that his parents would always bring him to. The main character tells the girl about how Dr. Zheng is like a father to him, and he would feel terrible if he betrayed the old man's wishes. However, he also knows what is the right thing to do, and has decided to allow the woman to return home alongside her giant friend. What the people don't realize is that Jia is already plotting against them, as she has decided to hire Captain Young who was able to survive once again. The woman promises to offer the man a lot of money for capturing the snake, but the soldier is only interested in taking vengeance for his comrades. Very soon, the entire area is surrounded by mercenaries, while the captain walks towards the building with his high-tech goggles and planning to capture the serpent no matter the cost. Suddenly, the lights are turned off while numerous lasers are aimed towards the couple, and Lin is quickly tasered from behind. The woman is immediately captured by the soldiers while the man watches hopelessly from afar, and realizes that his father figure is the one behind this whole plan. The workers begin to bring out a helmet for Vivi to wear, which causes the woman to scream in pain as it continues to shock her body. This causes the girl to send out a signal towards the giant serpent, 
and making the monster charge furiously towards the woman's location. The creature eventually arrives into the building, where the girl is being held inside a trap that's covered by electricity. This causes the serpent to get electrocuted by the machine, and making it to faint towards the ground. The soldiers are quickly able to capture the creature, as the company owners wait patiently behind the screens, and watching the workers begin the operation on Giant Snake. The scientists are able to cut through the creature's skin, and soon finds out that the monster is over 300 years old. At the same time, Lin begins to slowly wake up and realizes what the people are doing, as he tries to leave immediately. Surprisingly, Zhang allows the scientist to walk out from the area, as he no longer sees the man as a threat. Lin goes towards the woman immediately as he notices that Vivi is unconscious inside the cage. He takes the woman away from the area and brings her to a safe location, before trying to resuscitate the girl by giving her CPR. However, no matter how hard he tries, the woman refuses to wake up giving the man no other choice but to use the batteries nearby to try and resurrect the girl. Lin tries repeatedly to save his friend while thinking about all the good memories that they shared together, eventually knocking himself unconscious by the shock. Luckily, the woman manages to wake up in the last moment, causing the giant snake to regain consciousness as well and healing the creature's wounds at the same time. The monster quickly begins to move causing all the workers to evacuate from the area immediately, while the soldiers line up as they prepare to fight the giant beast. The captain arrives into the battlefield and quickly gets onto his massive weapon, while all the soldiers begin shooting at the giant monster with all their guns. Despite the overwhelming numbers of people, and the giant weapon that the captain is using, the serpent does not seem to be harmed by attacks. This forces all the soldiers to retreat backwards, leaving only Yang behind to face the creature. Chia goes towards the battlefield and tries to stop the soldiers from leaving, but the snake is able to knock away the captain's vehicle which crashes directly at the woman. Yang is able to survive the attack, as he slowly walks towards Jia who's begging for her life, but Manna decides to ignore the woman by letting her die on the ground. The captain rushes towards the weapon and fires at the monster one last time, causing the creature to roar furiously and smashing the soldier into pieces. When the morning eventually comes and the city is peaceful once again, Vivi is finally able to return to her giant friend, as they slowly embrace each other. The two are quickly interrupted by Lin, who's come to apologize towards the massive creature, and is eventually able to earn the serpent's forgiveness. Sometimes later, the man brings back the giant creature alongside the river that it came from, as they go through the mysterious forest and eventually arriving into the animal's home. Although the giant monster has forgiven the scientist, Lin realizes that it's going to take much more for him to earn back the woman's trust. Before the man decides to leave, he notices a tracking device on the serpent's body as he realizes that trouble is coming very soon but decides to protect the girl no matter the cost. At the same time, Zhang has brought his army into the forest, as they follow the signal towards the cave, but are surprised to see the main character all by himself. Lin goes towards the doctor and tells the man that he'll never find the girl, but only ends up getting shot in the process, which alerts all the bat creatures inside the cave. The doctor blames the main character for everything that has gone wrong, before shooting his gun right into the man's chest and causing Lin to fall onto the ground. This causes all the flying creatures to come out immediately as they fly furiously towards the noise, and Zhang quickly realizes that they are surrounded by the monsters. The soldiers fire all their guns in desperation while the animals pick off the human and killing them one by one. The people are quickly wiped out by the creatures, while the doctor tries to escape from the area and ventures deeper into the cave. The man eventually finds all the ultraviolet grasses and thinks that he's finally won the battle, but quickly begins noticing that someone is watching him. The doctor begins seeing the snake woman in front of him, and tries to attack the girl, not realizing that this whole thing is only an illusion. Very soon, a giant shadow starts forming over the old man and forcing him to look up in fear, 
As the enormous animal quickly devours the human in a single bite. After Zhang is finally killed, Vivi runs towards the main character immediately, but only finds out that the man is quickly dying, while still holding onto her bracelet. Lin is eventually able to give back the item as he finally passes away, and causing the woman to cry in sadness. The flashback shows us that Lin already knows about the DNA repairing enzyme on the girl's body, but he still deleted all research files. He knew that this could make his research unsuccessful due to illegal research Jiang's company is sealed. At the end, we see a small girl and the girl with a titan snake is sitting with each other. Titan snake is also there indicating that the girl finally integrates her life in the city. That was all from the video. I hope you like it. Please share your ideas in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notification, so you can watch more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching.